ESPN Sports Business Now, live from the National Sports Forum. Hello, welcome back from live from the National Sports Forum here in sunny Orlando. And I have with me today Mark Timpson from the Adaptive Golf Association, correct? Yes, thank you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. So tell me a little bit about the Adaptive Golf Association. How, how do you guys work? Uh, the Adaptive Golf Association um, was formed to provide a means for individuals with disabilities uh, the option and access to, to mm -hmm. play golf. So we work with individuals that are stroke patients, that are amputees, uh, brain injury survivors. Um, and we're working now a lot with uh, veterans that are coming back from, uh, from the war and combat mm -hmm. and, and teaching them and, and working with them to uh, adapt to whatever their challenge may be so that they can play golf. And it's a springboard um, that they realize that by adapting and changing and modifying to their disability um, that they have and can still do a lot of things. Right. And golf is a, a perfect sport mm -hmm. in that it's already got a handicap built in. <laughs> um, so it, it's, it's a natural fit for individuals with disabilities. Absolutely. It sounds like amazing, amazing stuff. You said you're based out of Atlanta? I'm based out of Atlanta, um, but we have programs uh, across the country. Okay. Uh, we're currently working with the PGA Foundation and their HOPE program, which is a program um, for vets. Uh, it's an accelerated six to eight week course mm -hmm. where we work with veterans and teach them everything about the game, um, provide equipment to them, and uh, try to get them onto the course. So we're working with the PGA Foundation and the PGA Tour Superstore um, in their markets to, to adopt those programs. Yeah, great mission, obviously great cause. and. Super, super applicable to, um, like you said, already had, golf already has a handicap, yep. so yep. might as well get them on. So what are you looking forward to in the National Sports Forum here? Is this, this isn't your first year, is it? No, it's not. It's my uh, ninth year now. Okay. Going so on my ninth year, so uh, yeah, uh, I look forward to this event every year. Um, it's a, a great event, content-wise, um, you always learn something. From a networking standpoint, um, friends for now, you know, nine years, you develop relationships mm -hmm. and friendships. So it's always nice to come back and share ideas and share what's working well and, and, uh, and then seeing everyone as well. Absolutely. And, you know, do you find any challenges with um, the kind of getting your message out there to, to the public? Um, you know, with yeah, that's 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 the um, that's the big challenge for us mm -hmm. right now um, is educating and, and making aware that there are 54 million Americans that have some sort of disability. Wow! Yeah. And um, there's uh, close to 20 million individuals that have a mobile impairment mm -hmm. um, where they you know uh, don't have you know, can't walk, mm -hmm. um, but still have the ability to play golf and want to play golf. So we're doing what we can to educate the industry and to get our message out. And uh, we're working with some of the uh, bigger um, equipment manufacturers. Okay. Ping is supporting us. Oh, interesting. Um, and, and so it's, it's, been, it's been great. Um, and we're looking forward to this, this coming year. Well, great. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining us. And uh, yeah, keep, keep tuning in to NSF Live or uh, on Twitter using the hashtag NSF2013. If you want to find out more about the Adaptive Golf Association, you can go to adaptivegolf.org. There you go. Get my plug in. Get the, absolutely. Might as well. Thank you for joining us, Mark. Thanks very much. I appreciate your time. No problem. SBN Sports Business Now, live from the National Sports Forum.